This is garbage. Next. What is this singing? TikTok. Oh, this is TikTok? This is, TikTok? this is the new TikTok stuff. Oh, TikTok. This is actually my first time ever seeing this. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? I saw this circulating Twitter. No clue what it is. You got a boyfriend. I bet he doesn't kiss ya. He gon' find another girl and he won't miss ya. Miss ya. <laughs> okay. The beat's good. I like that. Is that is this the, is this TikTok? I know the song because of the meme, but I don't even know it outside of TikTok. Is there more? Oh yeah. <laughs> of course there's more. Let's do it. Oh, is this all the same song? I don't get it. Is this like turn out to cringe challenge that I don't know about? Okay, I actually loved that one. Anything where people are dead behind the eyes, but using inc insane zooms, I'm into, I'm into it. Is there something with this song? I'm lacking the connection between these two. I think this is like a challenge. I've missed the chain on this one. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, we got a, got a guy, all right. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Mm. You hit or miss. Oh, oh my. Oh, he's miss, getting into it. Huh? No! You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't no! kiss ya. I bet he doesn't kiss ya. <laughs> <laughs> More of that, please. If this is a challenge, he wins. Because that, that was pretty one. awesome. <laughs> that was my favorite one. Hit or miss. Hey, Marshmallow! Marshmallow? That's really marshmallow. You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. I just don't get what the challenge is. I don't is. get the yeah. challenge. He got scared then hit the dub like with Khalifa. I'm not seeing the connection outside the song. If this is a trend, I don't see why it is. I don't understand it. Like, the more and more I watch it, I feel like I'm getting a clue what to the puzzle. What was that? But I don't understand it still. If your lips are not moving in time with the music, you have no right to lip sync. You have no lips to sync. Hit or miss, I guess I never miss. Huh? What is happening? Boyfriend, baby, then kiss ya. Mwah. Oh man, that auto tune though. Like boyfriend, baby, then See, I like kiss these. <laughs> you got boyfriend, this is garbage. Baby, then kiss Next. Ya. Dude, I hate how random every single one is. Like, there's no. There's nothing that ties all of them together except the song. And he gon' eat my ass like pizza. Okay, that ending actually. That ending got me. If that's not in the real song, it should be. But like the ones that kind of go the extra effort to recreate the audio terribly, but on purpose. Those, that's, that's comedy. Okay, the, more TikToks, please. Hit or miss, I guess they never what miss. What is this? Huh? <laughs> this is I guess like... they never miss, huh? Chug, 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 chug. I don't know what's happening, but I'm so intrigued. <laughs> I like the difference in the creativity. What have we become as a society? That's art, as opposed to a lazy uh, lip sync. This is when you're desperate for a trend. Uh, it's been a dry spell with the trends and uh, the challenges, and they're like, you know what? We'll take what we can get. I hate them. I think this is a really dumb trend that I don't understand. And you know, that could be because I'm too old, but it could also be because they're dumb. Hit or miss. Oh my gosh, it's like rumbling my ear. I bet he doesn't miss, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet he doesn't miss, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm usually against ear rape, but for some reason that uh, <laughs> just paired with the Joker's face, it works. I'm like a huge Dark Knight fan, so that was like my favorite version of that. So this is a recent trend from TikTok. It is one of the many trends that seem to sprout out from the platform every week, but any idea where the song came from that they're using? No. No idea. I am not hip nor cool enough to know where that song comes from. No, and I know I've heard, I think I've only heard it from TikTok memes. The song was actually made up by a group called Isle of Friday that was actually a diss track to ex-porn star Mia Khalifa. Ah. Uh, that's what I wanna see. I want to see that. So there is a diss track made against an ex-porn star that has now been segmented and adopted by the TikTok 
once musically lip sync crew that has now elevated into meme status. We have that music video to show you now. Oh great, the original. Okay, great. You play She's so disrespectful like to all Muslim women and gives us a bad image. I love that Sega sound. Interesting. Oh wow. This is what they this is what they refer to as flexing. You are sucking for a boring car. Mm, I love that auto tune. It's not terrible actually. Oh, love that sky effect. What is this singing? This is so bad. There it is. Song. Oh, I like it. Yo, win. What? So this is a diss track against an ex porn star. I don't see how this turned into a trend. I feel like people are just thirsty for anything. I think it's cool. I think yeah. it, you know, it gets people up and dancing and having fun. Yeah, just having fun, making whatever video they want with that. It's it's fun to see what people come up with. So the Hit or Miss song was originally posted in March of 2018 as a diss track to Mia Khalifa in response to a fake tweet where she made fun of the group. Oh, there was a fake tweet involved too. Great, to make this even more needlessly complicated. So the song seems to have blown up on TikTok after the user Nyan Nyan Cosplay from the first video we showed you posted her video. So she started that trend. Wow, whoa. Got down to the trendsetter. Is this the moment where I have the self-realization of like, man, man, you are way too old for the internet? As a trend on TikTok, why do you think that this blew up? I don't know, honestly, I don't see why it ever blew up. Like. Nothing's really that special about it. Anything that's like designed to go viral can't go viral anymore. And that it's it's kind of like a populist medium where people feel like they own it. And this stuff is so bad that it starts trends. The song is catchy and also because that girl was wearing cosplay. TikTok is relatively getting big, and the, the first video that she posted, the cosplayer, I think probably drew a lot of people in, because it's really cute. Some more info about Nyan Nyan Cosplay, who inadvertently helped start this trend. She gained a huge following following her TikTok post. One of the popular duets with her original video questioned her gender, which in turn sent an influx of hate comments her way. Oh, wow, man, social media, I tell you. And it was questioning her gender? What? People, just calm down, like, who cares? Get get a life. As someone with a large following, what advice would you give to people who may get sudden attention and all that comes with it? Concentrate on the good attention, because you give all that energy to that bad attention, it's just gonna kill you inside. Remain grounded, okay? You know, don't get too high, don't get too low. You gotta, you know, just just be cool and just take it in one step at a time because you, know, you don't want it to overwhelm you. Try not to check out every single comment because everybody will have an opinion. Exactly. And some of them might be hurtful. Enjoy what you have. Don't let someone's negative comments put you down because everyone's gonna have an opinion and you're never gonna please everyone. So finally, let's talk about TikTok slash Musical.ly. Uh, it always seems to garner a lot of negativity from people online. Some people and creators feel the huge success on the platform is not real talent or is very cringy content and maybe not as good as content compared to other platforms. However, many people made those same claims about people on Vine back in the day and even kind of say that thing about YouTube. No. Is that what they're saying? The Vine stars that came from Vine and started making YouTube make better YouTube than YouTubers. Because of the nature of Vine, they had to be funny and they had to come up with like six second jokes. I was definitely one of those people that looked down on Vine when it first came out. I was like, ah, six seconds, anyone can make something in six seconds. Like that's not taking actual time and creativity. But I started using Vine and I ended up really, really enjoying it. If enough people start doing creative things on TikTok, it could be a platform that's looked at with the same amount of respect as YouTube. In general, what have you thought about the TikTok platform to this point? Um, I feel like it's honestly a platform for children, almost like a transitional from like Musical.ly or TikTok to YouTube. So it kind of like dips their toe in the water a little bit to kind of, you know, having fun and just being goofy. It'll be the next wave of, like the next generation of YouTubers. 
Yeah. Because everyone eventually goes to YouTube. I don't think it's ever going to die, but I don't think people are going to be using it for that much longer. I just feel like it's big right now because Musical.ly was really big. It's another tool people are using to, um, you know, get followers, get, get a following, get an, an audience. And like any way you can get your creative side out there. It works for me. If you can rock that app, be my guest because not everyone can make a two second video and make it go viral. Everyone's a creator, man. When Viners came to YouTube, I, I praised that because they brought their following from one platform to another. I think that's, that's achievement. There's no reason to be, you know, spiteful to another platform or other creators just because that's their main platform or just because they're not in the same exact space you are. You know, we're all working together to basically show traditional celebrities, the traditional, uh, you know, executives and the industry, the movie industry, to show them that, hey, we have an audience. We all are a family and that, you know, we all have power. What these platforms are doing is teaching young people who are creating these videos really cool editing tricks like wipe transitions and like blurring the camera so that way now you're in a different area. I think what I feel negativity towards is the culture that sometimes perpetuates on these sorts of platforms. I don't have problems with Viners, but I have a problem with a lot of the culture that Vine created. You know, of the need to be loud and fast and obnoxious in order to get attention and use that to monetize your audience. Thanks so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. And subscribe to all the creators in this episode. Link's in the description below. See you guys, peace. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Listen, all of these creators took time out of their busy schedules to shoot this episode with us. Be sure to show your support and check out their channels using the links in the description below. Bye.